Welcome back to the Booze Buddy Update for Wednesday, January 26th of 2022. And yesterday, the Detroit Free Press called 2022 the year of the craft lager. I guess we'll have to wait till the end of the year to see if they're right. <laughs> it's brought to you by the real voice, Mel Allen. Voiceovers for commercials, podcasts, explainer videos, e-learning, telephone systems, and more. Samples and demos and get in touch with me at therealvoice.com. Well, first off, kudos to Four Quarters in Winooski, Vermont, turned their outdoor patio into a skating rink. It's a great use of a space during the coldest months of the year up here. You can check out the video and check out the uh, Four Quarters direct link to their brewery at the link in the show notes. But I found out they're not the only one doing it. No, there's 50 West Brewing, uh, Shram House Brewery, and Throwback Brewery. Uh, their actually skating rink was damaged recently, but they expect to be reopening uh, this Friday. So yeah, uh, they all have skating on site, and I'm just thinking, brewery hockey leagues, anyone? Come on, am I right? And when you re-rank all the wines, it can shake things up a bit, and it turns out a re-ranking of the wines may be getting you a great value on some wines as a result. Wine Spectator put these together, and I've frequently gone back to some advice from a friend of mine who told me that the best bottles of wine often only cost between about $15 to $25. And he said he'd never spend for the most part, anything more than $50. Well, sounds like most of that still holds true. The top 10 wine values of 2021 rankings met three criteria. Ranked 90 points or higher on Wine Spectator's 100-point scale, cost $40 or less, and provide three other things, quality, price, and availability. They're wines with solid track records that are good representatives of their regions as well. You can get the rundown and put together your shopping list to save yourself some money and a great wine. I bet this will be talked about at the Naples Winter Wine Fest happening this weekend. And this time of year is when IPAs are very popular. So let's look at eight highly ranked double IPAs and see how they rank when it's a blind taste testing panel. Uh, Dirt Wolf and Florida Man are the only two on this list of eight that I haven't tried yet, but by the rankings, there are no losers on this list at all. Even the eighth ranked double IPA is described as a well-made beer that's complex, flavorful, and easy to drink. And it seems to only get better from there. It was a smashing success, however, for Lawson's Finest Liquids out of Waitsfield, Vermont. They took two of the top spots. At number three was Second Fiddle Double Fiddle. Number two was Bell's Hop Slam. And at number one was Lawson's Finest's Double Sunshine. And it's been a minute since I've had one. I think I should have one again. <laughs> Next time, coming up, another round. The special interviews of the Booze Buddy Update tentatively scheduled to start on February 5th. I hope to have at least two a month to start, with more if possible. I've said it before and I'll say it again. If you want to suggest somebody to me or get in touch with me yourself, head over to boozebuddyupdate.com and you can contact me through there. Listening, watching, hey, thanks. Remember to like, review, and subscribe too. Head over to boozebuddyupdate.com to leave feedback, get in touch with me, and leave comments, etc. Remember, don't drink and drive. Stay safe, drive sober, and support the booze that supports your local community. Thanks. See you tomorrow. <laughs>